Lois Lane to Christopher Reeve's Superman and the world lost an icon this month when Margot Kidder passed away. Now one of her co-stars and good friends is paying tribute to the beloved actress. She was the lovable Lois Lane. Good evening, Miss Lane. Uh, hi. Margot Kidder wasn't afraid to test the limits as Superman's leading lady. Lois, what are you doing? You wouldn't let me die, Superman. And now, 40 years after the iconic film was released, Margot's co-star, Sarah Douglas, a.k.a. supervillain Ursa, is sharing memories of her late friend. And Sarah Douglas joins us now from London. Sarah, thank you so much for your time today. Now, you met the late Margot Kidder on the set of Superman and remained friends for many years. What was she like off camera? Firstly, I actually met her um, in 1977, in the very first week of, um, of filming Superman. We had started uh, the scene with Brando and Margot was, uh, came in for her screen test. And I can remember her arriving and I was fascinated because I'd never seen anybody with sort of bow legs. And she, she told me she was bow legged because she rode horses and she lived in Montana and she was a cowgirl and I was completely captivated by her. <laughs> and from that minute on, we've been friends and I can't, when I was thinking today about talking to you, I was trying to recall any negative thing, not that I would tell you anything mm. negative, but there honestly wasn't. She was so much fun and a, and a great friend and we just laughed. We laughed all the way through Superman and we, we laughed right up till very recently and hopefully she's still laughing now. You know, we are, we're reaching out to you and to Mark McClure because we met you guys when you came out here for Comic-Con a few years ago. Mark was Jimmy Olsen and he said he couldn't talk about it yet because he was still so emotional about her passing. I mean, she yeah. had such a massive impact on, on you guys and the cast. Have you spoken to Mark or any, anyone else? Uh, no, I've spoken with Jack O'Halloran, who played, of course, played Non. We were due to be in um, Detroit, this just gone, this, this past weekend. Margot was to be there and uh, everybody was gathering for a, a the, it's the 40th year of the release of Superman 1. Um, so we, we had a big celebration, which sadly I was still in Romania filming, couldn't get there. Um, but Margot was due to be there. So it was very, very poignant and bittersweet for all the cast who were together. Yes. Um, and it was, a, it was a great shock. I mean, we, I, I saw her last year. I was due to be with her in a, in a month or so in New York. Um, and as a Superman sort of family, we continued to get together and do things together. And there's always been a, a great interest in, in the whole Superman genre, but particularly our, our Superman with Christopher Reeve. And Margot was, loved her conventions. She loved meeting people. And she and I did, uh, went down to Metropolis last year, just the two of us. And she was a hell of a character. I mean, she really was. Um, <laughs> she was delighted when people said to her, well, you know, uh, what are you doing now? And she loved telling everybody that she was a grandmother and an activist. She loved being an activist, she said, um, more than being an actress. But um, she, was, she was great. She'll be sorely missed. Yes. Well, I mean, you shot Superman 1 and 2 together. And as you mentioned, you mm. mentioned the Superman family. Sarah, how close were you as a group? Well... Firstly, um, because, we, because it was shot in England, um, I wasn't on location per se. I was going home every night to my home. But the rest of the cast, because they were all American and had come over, really bonded terrifically because they were on location. They had all those evenings together, uh, of which I joined in some of them, but not to the degree they all did. Um, they were really, really, really tight. I mean, Mark McClure, you mentioned, of course, he was just a little itty-bitty boy back then. <laughs> um, so I don't know how many adventures he got up to, but I certainly, uh, we, uh, Margot and I, um, she, she told me in the very first week that she had had a decision. She was married then, and she had a decision whether to stay married or to do this movie. And she decided she wanted to do Superman. And I can remember thinking, wow, that's, that's, that's a pretty big decision. And we, of course, shot for a few months. And then we had a break in shooting and we came back to reshoot. And in that period, she'd got married again. I hadn't even known she'd got divorced. I'd missed this bit. But she'd got married again for the second time. And um, 
I think the I think the truth of it is it's it, there is a terrific Superman extended family. There's a there, there's the cast, and we all are, uh, as we mentioned, very very close. Um, these conventions are a wonderful opportunity to meet the fans. And in fact, last year, uh, Terence Stamp, who played the third villain, mm. well, the number one yeah, villain, it's hard. he. He did his first convention, which wow. I in London, and I think he was quite amazed. He, I, I knew he would do one in the end because if you ask <laughs> enough times, you you do it. Um, but dear Margot was due to be there, and she missed the plane. Now there's nothing new about that. Um, that's the sort of thing that would happen to Margot. She missed the plane. She didn't arrive. You know. We all went, oh, well, that's Margot. You know. Sarah, you know, uh, um, you're, you're talking about the original Superman and why people love it so much, and I think it's because it was so well cast and it really did reflect the, what people loved about those people. And I think she's the best, Lois Lane. Do you think that that's her legacy? I absolutely do, and it's and it's not a bad one. And and she really, she really embraced it. Um, she loved it, and she she just loved talking. I mean, you you to see her with the fans and to tiny children who have just discovered her Lois Lane. Um, she she really was she she really was that that wonderful character, a, a, quite a free spirit. Um, and a delight to be around, and, and you know, to hear that Mark was too upset, I completely understand. It's it was really a, a, a big shock, and as I said, especially as everybody was travelling just three days later, was on, you know, due to all meet up in Detroit and have this wonderful celebration. Sarah, I, I know you've been filming and doing a lot of things, and you, you're very, very busy as you always are at the moment. But you've taken time out to talk about your friend, and we really do appreciate it. It's been my pleasure, and I would only do it for you, David, because you know I've got a very soft spot for you. <laughs> oh, you're a lovely, lovely person. Lots Thank of love you. to you, Sarah. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you.